Hello and welcome to another AppleScript tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to cover POSIX paths, HFS paths, aliases, and file references. You might be asking yourself, why do I need to know all these different paths and, and what, why do these even exist? Well, the reality is different applications expect different forms of the path. So if you're working with a shell script, it's going to expect POSIX paths. Many applications that you're interacting with will expect a normal file path or a file pointer, aka file reference, and some will require aliases. So it's important to understand what your different options are. So as you're working within different applications that might require you to interact with them a little differently, you know how to get to what you need to work with that application. I'll start by copying the path to this file on my desktop and we'll paste that in as a variable in script editor. This is going to be a POSIX path. So you'll notice in between each of the folders, we've got forward slashes. That does designates each directory. Now I'll create a couple log statements just so we can see the results of what we're doing and track it as we're converting paths back and forth. So I'll write log example POSIX path and then log POSIX path our variable so we can see in the result window what that looks like. Now we'll start by converting that POSIX path over to an HFS file pointer. So I'm going to say set HFS file path to POSIX file POSIX path our variable. So this is going to convert this to an HFS file reference. So now we'll log this and I'll say log example HFS file reference and then I'll log the variable HFS file path and what you're going to see on this one when I run it is it's prefixed with this keyword file. That basically is telling us this is a file pointer versus just a, a string path. So instead, if I say set HFS path to POSIX file POSIX path as a string, so we'll see in this form of the path when I log it that it will be colon delimited instead of forward slash delimited. So I'll say log example HFS path and then I'll log HFS path our variable and we'll see that this one no longer has the file prefix and it's got my colon delimited folders. Last, I'll do set alias example to HFS path as alias. So this is gonna take that colon delimited path and turn it into an alias reference. So just like with all of our previous examples, we'll log the results of this conversion when I've coerced the HFS path to an alias. Now, uh, it's important to know that you cannot convert a POSIX path to an alias, only an HFS path. And you'll see when I run this one, we get an example where it's prefixed with the word alias, and that's designating this variable as an alias. When we started this video, I showed you how to convert a POSIX path to an HFS path. Now let's do that in reverse. Let's convert an HFS path back to a POSIX path. So I'll say set back to POSIX, that's my variable name, to POSIX path of, and then we'll use our HFS variable name, HFS path. So this line will convert the colon delimited file path back to the forward slash delimited version of the file path. You may also have noticed during this video that the POSIX paths start with slash users slash clicking keys slash desktop, and the HFS path starts with Macintosh HD users clicking keys. So the form of the path is a, is a little bit different itself as well. Okay, so now that I've got this conversion done, let's log those two examples and see that we in fact have converted this back to a POSIX form of the path. I hope this explanation has been helpful. If you've liked this video, please click the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, I'll go ahead and copy this script into the description of the video so that you can copy and paste it into your own script editor and give it a try. Just know you'll have to change that very first variable to a POSIX path of a file that exists on your system or you'll get some error messages as you convert it to an alias.